was actually living in Denmark because I was dancing half a year in Denmark and then uh, yeah, I just came home and I decided that yeah, I would like to continue because it was still the point if I start a little bit more seriously studying or really making professionally dancing. And um, yeah, then I was searching for a partner and actually he was my second tryout and then we decided straight away to dance together. Yeah, in the same time I was in Italy, I was uh, dancing with uh, one girl from Milan and, uh, and after three years we split and uh, nothing. I did a few months of, uh, of uh, being a little bit like, I can say, like a ho homeless, no, but uh, yes, I was in my city, I was doing not dancing and then I suddenly came uh, into my mind, uh, let's say, the change when, uh, when I said, okay, I want to do it again and I want to do it seriously. And uh, I contacted my teacher, which was Karen Lee Smith at that time. And um, she contacted a few girls and one of them, there was uh, Martina. So, and then we did the tree out in Padova in the, and we started and we decided to, to give a try. And now we are here <laughs> after many years. <laughs> Yeah, actually I was a water polo player when I was really, years, really, yeah. really small. But then they just realized that I was always in the gate because I was the smallest one. So they were a little bit afraid to let me play with the others because they said that I will die <laughs> between them. So then I tried, of course, tennis, ballet. And then my mom was actually a dancer before. So I started with my brother. But of course we were killing each other in the first period of time with my brother. So yeah. And then I stay and my brother stop and actually it's just become my life, so. I was, my mother uh, took me first time to when I was, I think, seven or, yes, yeah, seven, to basketball. For two years I was doing both discipline, also dancing, and after, um, I, for some other reason, for sure I choose dancing, also because of the, the eight was the same, so, yes, I would choose, but I was doing basketball, yeah. What I was thinking mostly was always to biologists for like, yeah, for the sea biology, I mean, travel. That one finally I could achieve, this traveling uh, subject, let's say like this. Um, no, I want to be, I, want, I, I think I also didn't know at that time specifically what I wanted to do. But uh, I want to do everything. Yeah, also me. Actually, it wasn't like one dream. It was like, I remember there was a period of time that uh, when you had changing the tires for winter. So I went with my, my parents and then I said, okay, I will try this one. Then, yeah, I, was, I always wanted to try new things. But it was not really a dream to come. I get up with the sun in my face. I look around, guess what? My senorita left me without a sound. Yo, life's a bitch and all I find is this no This is, I would like in few years, if it's possible, to open a place, uh, a bar or something, a uh, social place in Budapest. So maybe also this one would be, if I would not be a dancer, maybe to, to be a leader of something and have some property. I don't know, I don't know. For sure I would do something with, uh, with art or with no idea. That for sure not something that is a serious work. I feel in myself, I would not feel comfortable. I have to do something that it gets me in the, in the crazy mood. Do something that it makes a little bit interesting. Of course, we spend a lot of times uh, in the airports or places that on the train, on the plane, and you see people and you try to imagine that how it, they should live in normal life. And it's really inspiring that you see that, I don't know, a lot of business people are staying on the plane and you see that they are off, away from the family and they really, I don't know, for me, people and situations are really inspiring me. For an artist, in my opinion, you have to open and discover really the world 360 degree because it's the only way that sometimes you can you get to be unique and sometimes authentic. Sometimes you see like, sometimes even a concert, like is coming out yes. from a famous yeah, yeah. singer and you are like, wow, it's yes. so adapted for and that. And you try to steal something that maybe yeah. can, you can bring to your, uh, to your dance, to your culture. I would say, for sure, I would say um, all the 
tones and shades of blue? For me, yeah, it sounds strange, but for me, black. I love black. And of course, the colors of the fire. So a little bit, that's why I said we are a little bit really opposite to each other. But it's good because yeah. my water <laughs> is coming down. But yes, definitely these colors, like more red, black. Actually, Jania said the really nice one, Mushanin. Like I said to also to him when we met this um, one that if he could um, send himself, uh, how does it say in English? Transport. Like, uh, transporting everywhere. Like it would be really nice. Like no travel, just okay, now Budapest. And then I'm there already. Well, that would be, I think, really nice. Yeah, I think really that would nice. be, yes. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice. Well, it's nice for uh, now. I'm very used to this, and it's very good. The WDSF uh, "Kiss and Cry" song. Uh, that is a matter. Yeah, when you hear it, it's like yesterday oh. we were practicing, and they put just Chinese guy, okay, with bamba. They put uh, samba. The first first round we did the samba, and then cha cha cha. In the middle, he put it, and when he put it, I was like, oh, "Where is the camera? Where is Pedro? Where is Pedro?" Where is Pedro? I was already, because he's so used to that song that for me, that is WDSF, so all the Grand Slam and everything. So yeah, that song, for sure. Who it depends. <laughs> uh, now we feel, I feel personally more better the cha-cha-cha now so and uh, i love to dance the rumba because i feel now a balance in my so I, I really don't know I mean, one thing is sure paso doble is not my best so that since beginning when i was child paso doble it never came into my let's say um Comfort personal <laughs> uh, attach let's say like this yes but uh, yeah no definitely for me the same i would not catch out one but for sure that um, as also in the last period of time as a result that is coming back from the people our samba yeah mm. it gets a little bit more involved by the people also so yeah also this kind of music latin music cuban music it's closer to us so yeah. that's why i think it's like more close oh these yes. kind of questions <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's really ordinary. Like, he can calm me down easily. He can piss me off easily. But uh, in the end of the day, I'm always realizing that I cannot live without him. I think this is the Ooh. best for me, that he's beside Ooh. me. Yeah. The best about Martina, um, I like her simplicity her passion in what she does and uh, um, of course uh, dancing but uh, this is something else even because we are as many people already know we are a couple like since many years I like her uh, as I say um, of course also me I cannot uh, I cannot live without her and uh, I don't know, we find the balance together. It's something, there is this magic that uh, attracts us continuously, day by day, and uh, it doesn't let us to be alone. So this is what, uh, is my drugs, let's say like this. Okay, at my eyes she's good at everything, okay? But, um, Oh, I can say one, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the funny one again. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, it's the first thing that came in my mind, okay? But, uh, for example, Martina is like this, as she says, she's very, um, what can you say? Um, untidy. Untidy, yeah, she let everything. And after, let's say, once in a month or whatever, is coming the deep cleaning. So, that one, she is the perfect so you see i'm also giving now for a job interview so if perhaps dancing is finished and everything we are very good actually it's very good for for cleaning company and everything <laughs> <laughs> no he used to cook 
I mean, I'm, I'm cooking sometimes, but not really. Okay, not, uh, you cannot compare me with Mr. Chef Evalda Sodeika because yes. uh, he's the, <laughs> he's to the top of he's... the top. But I can say that the chicken, two eggs and uh, bacon, I can make it, it's no problem. Man, you ought to see him go, twisting the night away. He's dancing with the chicken slacks. She's a moving up and back. Angry, I would not say angry. What makes sometimes a little bit disappointed that uh, when people make opinion of something or somebody that they maybe they don't know the background or it sometimes is happening also in social media. And this one, it is not angriness. It sometimes is more disappointing. Angry, angry, I would not say that uh, makes no, us. No, we're not angry, no. Uh, that's why I said angry, I think you need really something big thing to get you in. Okay, of course, sometimes I can say that I'm angry on him, but yeah, it's something. I'm a big thing, you understand? <laughs> yes. No, I'm a, I'm a big... No, I think you can be angry if something is touching you who is close to your heart. Then you can be really angry. But in general, no. We don't used to be angry, angry. No. Luckily. For me, man, if I stay with friends, if I stay with other yes. people, in general, I love to laugh. Like, I really am. Luckily, I have many people around me that makes me really often laugh, like. No, with the students, with the, sometimes when we go to, with the camps and we make a night with the teachers. This, I think, uh, social, um, how can you say, uh, meeting or something like this with people that you know and people that you are good with, I think is, this is what makes uh, love, of course, and pleasure to be there with them. We are not that good at many others, that's for sure, but uh, we try to improve our skill. Actually, she's posting much more than me, so I have to... Maybe I will do some courses for the <laughs> how to learn how to do it better. Yeah, but we try to do our best as much as we can. So yeah, we try to we keep them. We have a, a fan page. Actually, a girl from uh, Romania she asked asked us to do it um, a year ago, and we said yeah yeah let's do it no problem. No, we really appreciate. And uh, she's very nice, cute. She's asking us uh, something before to post if it's something which she need to ask. And um, yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very cute for her, and it's, it's helping also us for our fan. Yes. A cute small dog. Tina. Like. I a, hope million people are watching the interview. Uh, can you say that I'm a small puppy? <laughs> like a cute one, really, for me, because he is really. He has the face like. No, honestly. I mean, he has like this My big, bird beautiful grow eyes. Slowly, <laughs> you understand? That's why I need always two weeks to get a little bit more longer. Three weeks, so small puppy. Can you imagine? For me, for me. Well, let me let me think because I would say a snake. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. Okay, let's do also you a puppy, like a fox. Small fox. Okay. Small fox.